Hey guys, we're here today in New World giving you an overview of all the menus in the game so you can know exactly where to head for certain information when the game launches. The first tab is the company tab, which will be your guild. Currently, there's not a lot of options in this tab beyond editing your crest, your name, or message of the day. Looking at the menus, ranks, or active wars you're in, you can edit your siege window to change when you want to get attacked if you own territories or look at your treasury. There are not a ton of options in this at the moment, but hopefully more will come soon since companies are such a big part of the game. New World's map has some pretty decent systems with it, allowing you to right click on it and place waypoints for you and your group members. On the left panel, you can open up your objectives and look at your quests, and you're able to sort them by distance, having your closest come first, or move it to difficulty, what territory they're in by A to Z, or what type of quest they are. You can also look at any of the upcoming wars or invasions going on on your server, open up the resource locations which will display the different biomes and what they look like on the map, along with what type of materials they have in them. You are able to look at your territory standings which are your zone levels for each of the different territories, and by clicking into these territories it will tell you what company owns it, how many corrupted breaches are in it, and what your bonuses are there. You also have the ability to adjust filters on here such as not displaying your character, or landmarks, and things like that. The quest journal for New World is pretty straightforward, and they have the options to jump to different categories on the left side. However, they are all part of the same menu, and you can just scroll up and down, and you will see them bracketed into their sections. What I like the most about their quest journal is that the rewards section is pretty clear and straight to the point. This might seem like a minor thing, but a lot of games, they just use logos instead of telling you it's XP or coin or territory standing, and sometimes it can be difficult to tell what exactly you're getting for each individual quest. They have the standard ability to view it in the map, and pinning it will put it in your quest tracker on your UI. If you are someone who cares about the lore of the game, they also have your documents stored here, where you can go through and read what you have found. Once you move over to the character tab, it will have multiple tabs inside of this section, the first one being your bio. This is where you can change your faction, track your faction tokens or your rank in it. You can also go on the right side and switch through different territories you're in and see what kind of bonuses you're currently getting in them along with changing your title from anything you have unlocked. The next tab here is your attributes, which are your overall core stats. On the right side of this, it tells you your current weapon damages, which change whenever you're changing your attributes, so you can see exactly how much your damage or your health will increase as you're applying points. The bars are also colored, telling you what exactly you're gaining points from. Yellow is points you've committed there by choice, equipment is in blue, and item buffs are in purple. The circles or nodes in each of these lines represent every 50 points, and when you highlight them, they will tell you passive perks you will unlock by reaching these thresholds. They also display the weapons next to each stat's name, so you know what weapons are affected by those attributes. Down at the bottom of the screen, they also have a button you can click for view leveling rewards, which will tell you different benchmarks you can hit every 5 levels, and what you will unlock for them. This can be very important since the survivalist camp upgrades that happen at level 15 and 25 are quests in the world you need to accomplish to upgrade your camp. These quests do not have a different logo than other quests in the game, so it can be hard to figure out which ones they are. When you highlight them in here, it tells you that the level 15 one is the survivalist friends in fashion quest, which will help you locate that and complete it. After that is the weapon mastery tab, which will simply display all of your weapons, their overall levels, and their experience bar, along with which abilities you have equipped in them. When you highlight them, it will tell you the overall damage output in percentages for the different types of attacks they have. The tab after weapon mastery is trade skills. Again, this just displays the levels of each of your gathering, refining, and crafting trees, but if you click them, it will display when you can gather certain items and when you can track those items. If you select the crafting ones, it will also show you the entire recipe tree, telling you when you can unlock certain recipes and what those recipes are. And at the bottom left, it will tell you what type of crafting stations this style needs. The last tab in the character section is achievements. This is pretty basic in terms of MMORPGs and should be nothing terribly new for you. We're not going to get into the store tab right now since everything they have in here is just for beta and we have no idea what it will look like at launch. We will not be going through all the settings in this video since that would be entirely too long, but I will be doing a video just before the game launches on helpful settings you might want to change or adjust to enhance your experience. When you are looking at all your menus, on the left side it has your friends list and displays who is online. You can also check your notifications like group invites or friend invites here, along with select your friends and invite them to groups, direct message them, and so on. If you're interested in inviting a random player to a group, you just click the plus on the group icon and you can enter their name. Once you have a group going, they will display on this left tab here and give you different options like enabling voice chat. 
The last thing I wanna point out with the game menus is the actual game menu itself at the top right. This is how you exit the game and go to main menu or desktop, but it also has an unstocked option at the top. This is great when an MMO provides this option here since this can happen at random times and be very annoying to deal with. Well, there you go, a quick overview of what you can do with each menu in New World. Hopefully it gave you a decent understanding of how things operate and what you can do with these menus to make things a little simpler or easier for you come launch day. I appreciate you joining me for this video and I will see you next time.